Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. You can now use the promo code LVD at checkout. So 3 mana at the beginning of combat, put a counter on a creature, and then if it has 3 or more counters, we get to transform it into the Winged Temple. So where do we want to go with this? Blue-green, probably don't need to go into a third color. So in standard, we used to play Wild Growth Walker plus the Explore package, which worked pretty well. Now we get access to Stone Coil Serpents, although let's see, I guess uh, the land is colorless so we can target it. But I can't... Yeah, I can't target Stone Coil with the climb itself, so it's a bit of a nombo. Growth Chamber Guardian especially, and Incubation Druid seems great. Turn to Druid, turn 3 climb was a thing in standard when those were both legal and can generate a lot of mana. So I like the Adapt creatures quite a bit, Spell Collector of course. Probably diverge from the Explore package. Yorvo seems tailor-made for Hadana's climb. And then we'll just be mono green with a blue splash. Vivian also seems quite good. Could play a couple hinges to go with my uh, adapt creatures. Voracious Hydra seems great. Awakening of V2 Gassy plus Climb is also kind of a wombo combo, since you can potentially attack with a 20 powered land. If you go end of turn Awakening, untap, play Climb, put a counter on it, transform and then double its power, attack for 20. Built a deck around it back when those were in standard, but maybe we can try something a little different. Skydiver could be okay. Sigana has a bit of synergy. Sadly, Rolask never really saw the light of day. And then there's Hydroid Crisis as just a good card to combo with the extra mana from Incubation Druids. What about Mobu? If we have enough ways to place counters on it, maybe, but it is pretty slow for mana with no ATB effect. Not a huge fan of Lizrock, generally speaking. Barkai Troll also seems decent. Helps us grow a Pelt Collector as well. Yeah, I could use another chunky 3-drop or a 2-drop. Could maybe play Hydroid Crisis, although we don't have a ton of mana generation besides Incubation Druid. Although flipping Hadana's Climb is also a way to generate one more mana. Or we could play the our own games. Make a token, three counters, and then we can play Climb on turn four to transform it right away. It's okay. Problem is we kinda let the opponent know about it so they can potentially play around it and kill the creature with all the counters. And we don't have a ton of four-powered creatures that can let us draw the cards if they kill the creature with all the counters on it. In terms of interaction, right now we've got Vivian and Hydra. Could potentially use a couple more. Nissa's okay too. Although if we were gonna build with Nissa in mind, we would probably build it a bit differently. Make it less of a beatdown deck and more of a ramp deck. Like I would probably cut all of those. We probably don't need Great Hench at that point. Could still play Yorvo although it's not going to shine. Then we would probably play another Mana Dork. I guess if we're going to play this in Historic, we can play Elves. Probably should have started there. And then we can just use Hadana's Climb as a way to put a counter on Druid to generate a lot of mana, and then double Hydroid Crisis, maybe. Maybe that's a more fun way to build it. So we've got our Hydras, Yorvo, probably play Paradise Roots. So we've got our 12 mana creatures, Vivian Nissa, 6 uh, Hydras, Hadana's Climb to go with Incubation Druid, Yorvo, and Hydras. Don't really think we need Mutate here, although Mutate does synergize a bit with Yorvo and the Hydras, so it wouldn't be the worst. It's just that the Mutate cards are only great if you play multiples, which is probably not going to be the case here. Could we add some Proliferate cards? Maybe. Although the problem is going to be to get the first counter going. Like, Proliferate is great if every card has 
A plus one counter by default, which is maybe more the case in the, the previous build with Belt Collector and Barkai Troll that all come with plus one counters. And then we can use a card like the three mana Evolution Sage to proliferate on the team. Whereas now none of our cheap creatures come with plus one counters, so then proliferating is a lot less effective. Hadana's Climb does incentivize us to play more creatures as opposed to grow spirals. So it makes sense to play more mana creatures as opposed to other ramp cards. A Jani from War of the Spark does have synergy with a lot of our the cards here. Could turn it into more of a Super Friends deck. Although it's going to be a little tricky to cast Yorvo when we're splashing blue and white. I mean, our late game should be decent with four Hydroid Graces, Voracious Hydra. Can maybe use one more late game card. Could always play a third Vivian or a Put a random Great Henge in the deck. Five mana Vivian could also be decent. Skydiver could help us proliferate. Could maybe help us ultimate a Planeswalker faster. Biosense Hydra could work if we play Kiora as well. Can make it Hydra Tribal. Could do that. Just add some Biosense Hydras and then Kiora can help us ramp and synergize us quite well with Bios and Sidra in particular. And that also gives us more card draw, so we've got a better late game. Maybe go like 3 Kiora, 3 Climb, 3 Yorvo to diversify a little bit. 3 Vivian, something like this. So we can go turn 1 Elf, turn 2 Kiora, turn 3 Bios and Sidra. That sounds pretty spicy. Incubation drew it into Hadana's Climb, and then we can use the three mana to cast Yorvo or Kiora. That's pretty synergistic. Yeah, and this is maybe kind of boring, but it is very good with all the Hydras, and it does have synergy with Hadana's Climb too. Kind of depends what your goal is. Do you want to make it janky, or do you want to make it somewhat playable? Alright, so if we were to add some lands... So can't afford to have a ton of actual islands in the deck. Maybe one with Fabled Passage. Could also play Castle Garenbrig, I suppose. Since I do have 12 untapped green right now, so I can probably afford two castles. Which are quite good with the Hydras. I can even make it three castles. 24 lands, 12 mana creatures. Yes, this looks good. Don't need a Vivian sideboard. I've wasted too much time putting cards in my sideboard for Vivian and never minus fived. Uh oh, we drew the one island. Could come back to bite us if uh, we draw Yorvo. But we've got Kiora plus Bios and Sidra, which is the combo here. I mean, if you're playing in a tournament, then you definitely want to figure out your Vivian wishboard, but if we're just playing for fun, it's probably going to waste a bit too much time. Skura. Nice. Uro plus Hushbringer. Leave my squids alone. It's a classic. Doesn't draw with Cura, sadly, because of Hushbringer. But uh, still a 9 9. For an all creature deck, it's going to be difficult to remove. Fauna Shaman, carry it, it's... and now this Hadana's Climb is gonna go nuts. So I guess I can just kill my opponent here.
I guess it was maybe turn 5, yeah, we went turn 2 Paradise Root, turn 3 Kiora, turn 4 Hydra, turn 5 kill. Hmm, this is pretty awkward. Sure. We keep drawing that one basic island. It's gonna be our doom. Alright, it's fine. Can definitely kill on turn 4 with a good draw. Opponent on Asper Humans. They're gonna freebooter Thalia. Meddling Mage. Alright, Thalia. So, good time for Yorvo. Might see Hostage Taker, but then we can... I guess Vivian doesn't kill the Hostage Taker. So that could be bad. Thought Erasure. Wait, that's illegal? And a bodyguard. Alright. Um, I think I play Hydra this turn, then next turn, I, or I should specify Biosis Hydra. And Crasis on the following turn, so we can use Castle too. Suppose I could attack. Yeah, it's a sad bios and Sidra, but if we draw Planeswalker, it's still gonna pick up some counters. It's definitely at its best with a Kiora in play. Freebooter gets to see Hydroid Crisis. Sure. I guess I totally forgot Thalia's indestructible. I think my opponent forgot it as well. They could have just free rolled a block on Yorvo. So what I should have done is attack first, maybe. Then they don't block, fearing a removal on the Enforcer. So... X equals 5. And Hadana's climb is looking mighty fine. Alright, I'll, I'll respect my opponent this time. What's their last card? Hostage Taker, probably their best option. Could just be a Dire Tactics, I suppose. So I want to climb. Could transform the climb right away. And then activate it. Or I can just put a counter on Biosense Hydra and wait a turn and then next turn go for it. Especially relevant if their last card is Dire Tactics. If they kill my Crasis in response to me putting a counter on it, for instance. So I'll put one on the Hydra, Biosense Hydra. Can still attack with uh, Crisis here. Let 
Now they could play Deputy to exile this instead of having it transformed, which is probably safer against the human stack. But we've got Vivian to fight Deputy, so it should be fine. Tithe Taker. And another Thalia. Alright, my opponent's super dead. Sweet. I mean, climb ends games very quickly once we get a big creature in play. It doesn't mess around. Like when Hadana's climb was legal, you had Lanor Elves, you had Incubation Druids. I think you could almost build this entire deck except for Yorvo. Yeah, Bioessence Hydra was in War of the Spark, so that wasn't standard at the same time as Ixalan near the end, although not for very long. Um, yeah, I want to kill this Risen Reef, I think. Alright, so I guess uh, Nissa is good to go. If this isn't an Ozolith deck, you don't know what is. You know, maybe maybe there isn't an Ozolith deck. I hate to break it to you. Not sure what my opponent's representing. Maybe there's some sort of Turbo Fog deck. In which case we could be in trouble. Six is probably enough. <laughs> Stomping time. Yeah, it could be a Flood of Tears deck, which might play Root Snare. All we can do is present lethal as quickly as possible, so there is force to spend mana on Root Snares before they can set up their combo. Lutri? Uh, maybe it's some other combo deck. Well, we have a lot of power and toughness in play. Opponents going through the math here, seeing if they can kill us, maybe. Nope, they cannot. Yeah, Vivian plus Nissa is a pretty deadly duo. Sure.
the best deck that I was able to build with uh, Ozolith was kind of a blank green sacrifice deck in standard with Vraska and Dreadhorde Invasion. But even there, it was a bit underwhelming. Yeah, Dreadhorde Butcher plus Ozolith could be kind of cute. Like, it's probably often going to come out of the sideboard against removal-heavy decks. That's where Ozolith shines, but in best of one, it's a lot more difficult to make it work. I ebb and flow with battle. Time for Nyssa. Ooh, Mama Galta in the house. Opponent's just going face. All right, so opponent's empty-handed. Let's see here. How do I survive this? I probably don't. Yeah, I guess I'll take it. I could chump Nylea. Or I could sink more mine into Krasis. But that's a lot of creatures attacking me. Beast, Galta, Nylea. Can I decrease their devotion somehow? Let's see, three, four, five, six. So killing one's not enough. Maybe if I draw Vivian, I can fight a spinner. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're dead. So six, this is for eight, I can chump Nylea, gain four up to 14, guess I'll try it. Well. If they don't kill me, then Climb could kill them next turn. So I think we actually have this. Crasis on Beasts, can chump Nylea, block Spinner, take 13 down to 1 if they attacked with everyone. Seems fine. Bam. That was a close one. And yeah, Hadana's climb is not a bad card. So, do we make any changes? Pretty happy with 
how the deck is configured. I mean, most of our wins are going to come from Nissa being a powerful card, generating a lot of mana, but then Climb is kind of our finisher of choice. Vivian plays a nice support role, giving us a bit of removal alongside Voracious Hydra. And then Bio Essence Hydra is nice if we can draw it alongside Kiora. Yorvo, a nice big roadblock as well. So the deck seems fine, but uh, maybe not the most interesting deck, considering we're a, a Nissa deck after all. But that's fine. Every now and then we get to play good cards as well. But for now, I want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.